When my daughter was born, I had never heard of tuberous sclerosis. As we started seeing delays, I think that sort of piqued my interest in rare disease. I had never heard of it, but now I'm sort of an expert in it. I landed a position at a rare disease consulting firm and started to see very cool technologies that were being developed in the rare disease space. Being a parent of a child with a rare disease, it just seemed like, oh, I have finally, 20 years into my career, I've now found my niche. Regenix Bio is a gene therapy company. It uses a virus as a technology to deliver a functioning gene to a cell. When you have a genetic disease, there's typically either a missing or a malfunctioning gene. And so this virus technology that is owned by Regenix Bio is able to deliver to the cell either a functioning copy or a replacement copy of the gene and thereby sort of change the function of the cell. I remember being super excited and feeling like all the worlds were colliding when I went to a conference and there was a, a postdoctoral student who was working on a gene therapy in a mouse model of tuberous sclerosis. And I thought, oh my gosh, that's my daughter's diagnosis. And here I am at a, in a professional capacity of all the 4,000 rare diseases I've run across a poster for the one for my kid. It was a super exciting time and it just really just emphasized the passion that I have for biotechnology and the potential for gene therapy. I am Lisa Carlton, Vice President of Regulatory Affairs at Regenix Bio, and I am Bio.